Alright, here's everyone's favorite Tesla. Alright, June. This was at 190. Remember, I made that cost at 2 to 10, then I upped it to 220. It was right on that. Actually, went to 270 almost. 267, incredible. And then there was the big short, the first candle back in late July. And then we came in this zone here, pretty much this line here, this line here, gapping down. Coming up sideways, gapping down to the low of 182. And then here is the cross, change of direction, but then a red candle. Oh, we're going back down. So this is where you have to confirm. Could have been red, you know, next day it was green. That's a good sign. And then green again, right at this 200 level. You slowly see stochastics coming out from the low. See this little line here, higher. From here, it's higher to here. And here, it just keeps going higher. And on the four hour, you can see that. See how this finally ripples down <clears throat> here, here. It's almost like a double bottom. And then right here, it was above. Start to go up. You can see it on shorter time frame. Looking on, like for swings, definitely get a one, two, four hour. It really shows, you know, what's happened on this daily chart too. So we come up from 200, we're at 216, the wrap around. We're at 54.32. This has room to run. You know, could this run to 230? We'll look for that because that's where that gap is and see what happens there. Uh, weekly, look at all them red candles. You're, this hasn't crossed over yet. So 39.18, very low. Lowest since like April, May. Monthly, trying to come up here in the monthly chart. Quarterly, still going down 30.34. So this is as low as it's ever been, look. So after the run up 2020, 21, it's in a massive downtrend. It has to break that. It really has to break longer term, over 250, uh, really 280, I would say, for this to go you know, back up. So the five minute on this was a big short, 216 pre-market. This goes all the way down to 211. Let's put the three minute chart here. It's a little better. So you can see all the way down. Look at this. And then today's open line, look at that. Right here, red candle. <clears throat> Here's your green 211. This goes straight up like a rocket to you know, 219. Then you have a fade. Yesterday's close. That's why these on here. Look how important they play these lines. See, the algos on these are a little bit different than you'd say like penny stocks. They might come to today's open close. These always are involved, it seems, at least around it. Look at that. Right to the T, right to the T here. Yesterday's close line, 214. We go back up to 18 and then there we go so yeah one move two moves three four moves on tesla right now that was on um friday so good um trading action day trading <clears throat> now if this does go back down it's really a trend line to me if this breaks this trend line which would be like two uh 205 ish we'll see what happens in that so everything's moving up like again, everything will keep moving up till it doesn't. Till there's a reason it's going to get overbought again or something. It heats up. It's like boiling water. This kept going up. Was, look how fast this went up. All green candles. That's a penny stock move. It's not normal. You want to slow, like dip, slowly grind up. That's more of a normal market. When you have a straight up move like that, and then something's going to happen, you know you're going to go back down pretty fast. So this is grinding up a little bit here, and we'll see how this plays out on Tesla.